Hi, I'm Elizabeth Haverfield and I'd like to welcome you to this MYB Account Right v19.8 Banking Reconciliation Training Session. We will learn to open an existing data file, check and view the banking preferences, prepare a bank deposit, match the transactions in our MYAB account right against the bank statement, enter in bank charges, interest and a loan repayment, reconcile the cheque account and print a bank reconciliation report. We will view our transactions via the bank register, transaction journal and find transaction screens and also process our contra entries. So let's get started. The purpose of a bank reconciliation is to reconcile or match the business accounting records with the bank accounting records. This process should reveal any errors in either the business or the bank accounting records. The bank statement may be different to the business records, however this is because of the time delay involved in the processing of cheques or even deposits. The frequency of preparation of a bank reconciliation statement varies depending on the size of the business. At the very least, this process should be completed at the end of each month. Most businesses do it weekly. The bank statement may include bank charges, interest earned and loan payments that have not been included in the business records. These transactions must be entered into the data file. Another task that needs to be completed prior to the beginning of a reconciliation is to clear any funds within the undeposited funds account into the regular cheque account. A bank deposit needs to be completed to move the figures as well as physically go through the bank to deposit the funds. There are two methods to reconcile a bank account. One, using the bank statement received manually and two, using a downloadable bank statement from the internet, which is more automated. When accounts are reconciled in the data file, transactions are ticked off as they appear on the bank statement against the account on the screen. The Prepare a Bank Deposit function allows all receipts to be transferred from the undeposited funds account to the ANZ check account as one big total. When the business is doing their banking, this function is used to clear the undeposited funds account and deposit the funds into the ANZ check account within the MYOB account right. However, a person will still need to take the deposits to the bank physically for the funds to be actually banked. If different methods of payment are accepted from customers for goods and services, for example credit cards, check and cash, the Prepare Bank Deposit window makes banking deposits easier. Receipts can be grouped into one total according to the payment method. In the following example, Charlie needs to prepare a bank deposit to the ANZ check account. She has received a deposit of $20 from Car World on the 4th of January 2014, but she did not bank it until the end of the month. From the Banking Command Centre, select Prepare Bank Deposit. In the top left hand corner, ensure that the deposit to account is the ANZ check account. We're going to select the receipts of all methods. We need to change the date to be the 31st of January 2014. We only have one entry, which is the cash receipt dated the 4th of January from Car World, which was cash of $20. On the right hand side, Click to put a tick into the column Deposit. A total now appears at the bottom saying $20. When we click Record, it's now transferred the money from the undeposited funds account into our bank account. The bank register can also be used to view the undeposited funds account. Change your bank account to be undeposited funds. You will now see that there is the $20 as a deposit and $20 as a withdrawal, leaving a running balance of zero. We've cleared out the undeposited funds account. Let's cancel back to the command centre. 